We've got the coyote that we have had uh, GPS collared and we during the summer and a few other months uh, throughout the year we look at the points that they have for a week or two week period and if we see that they're spending um, you know more than a couple hours at a single point we assume there's something there that's of interest to them uh, and so we go out and investigate those points um, and try and look whether it's a predation site or uh, a rest site uh, maybe a den site or something like that and so right now we've got the coordinates for one of those points and so we're heading up to check it out So the thing about this female coyote is we know she has been denning since March. Um, we've seen those sites and that's one of the sites we'll go to later because she's still using it to this day. Um, but the thing we have to wonder is why she'd have a group of points um, away from those den sites. Um, she shouldn't be resting away from those sites so that's why we kind of are suspicious about the area here being fresh leaves being snapped and bent over and all the brush and grass is laid flat so can't tell what it is especially uh, with things being as washed out as they are but the first animal sign other than deer tracks we've seen in the area we are collecting some dead hair probably from a fawn it looks like it has most likely been consumed by this coyote since it's about five meters from the center point of the cluster site we're investigating. There's also some scat right next to it that looks like it's probably from a coyote. It has a bunch of hair in it. So, collect this with the rest. Um, just filling out which cluster this belonged to, what kind of um, piece of evidence it was, how far it was from the cluster center. All that can give you kind of an idea where you find in these pieces of evidence how far do we need to search around kind of the GPS points that we're finding. Oh, we were walking along this outcropping. The other outcropping down there looked like it had kind of some denning sites. And this one didn't have anything down below, but we popped up and looked over here and it's kind of flat, little flat area. And looks like there's some remnants of a, of a predation. Got some bone shards up here. They're kind of small, they're kind of hollow. It might actually be bird the more I look at it, but could be something else, but yeah, looks like they're chowing down on something up here. So something dug down there, but look at... Oh, so this, is, this is really recently. Look at one, two, three, four, pad. Look at the shape. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Well, it looks like a... Some sort of a bobcat tracks. <laughs>